How to restore your iPod to factory settings. You can quickly and easily erase your iPod and load it up again by restoring it to the original factory settings. You will need iTunes software, a Firewire cable, and an iPod power adapter. Optional, an administrator's name and password. Step one, open iTunes on your computer and connect your iPod using a Firewire cable. Step two, wait for iTunes to open. If you don't have the latest version of the program, a dialog box will open and ask you to download it. Wait for the download to complete before continuing. Step three, find and select your iPod in iTunes. Information about your iPod will appear in the summary tab on the main iTunes window. Click the restore button. If you are using a Mac, you will be asked to enter an administrator's name and password. Step four, check your computer's monitor for a progress bar indicating Stage 1 has begun. At the completion of Stage 1, if you have an older model iPod, you will be instructed to disconnect your iPod and connect it to an iPod power adapter. If your iPod is newer, you will be instructed to leave it connected to complete the restoration process. Step 5. Check your iPod display for the Apple logo and a progress bar, indicating that Stage 2 has begun. It is important that you leave your iPod connected to the power adapter or computer during this stage. Step 6. Wait for Stage 2 to finish. Once it has, the iTunes Setup Assistant window will open on your computer. You'll be asked to name your iPod and choose your syncing preferences. When you have indicated your preferences, your iPod will be restored to factory settings. Did you know? In the iPod's first full year on the market, it sold 378,000 units.